This book review is on a book called Heavy Timber Structures, Creating Comfort in Public Spaces. The book opens with an intro that highlights wood as the only structural building material that is deeply intertwined with a human spirit, having a positive effect on human emotions, reducing blood pressure and heart rates, and being warm to the touch. With a lengthy argument on the visceral nature of wood in buildings, it postulates, like Winston Churchill once said, that we shape our buildings, thereafter they shape us. The book is actually a monograph of some of Lancaster County timber frames, heavy timber projects. 35 projects, actually. Most of them are on the East Coast and centered around Pennsylvania and nearby states. The projects are divided by type of structure, religious buildings, restaurants and bars, healthcare buildings, government, clubhouses, historic reconstruction, and retail. The projects referenced in the book are all public commercial projects. They're all excellent primers on timber framing, showing the various ways heavy timber construction can enhance architectural design and the spaces they enclose. It's a nice variety, but it would have been nice to see some residential projects included, but I'm really hoping that this is a topic for a later publication. Each of the projects is beautifully composed with full color photos, text descriptions, and working drawings. What I really like maybe because I'm drawn to details or how things go together, is the combination of design drawings, working construction drawings, 3D computer models, and construction photos. Sure, I like good photography, but what I really like about this book are all the technical drawings of the plans, the construction drawings, the details of connections, and the descriptions of the process to help paint this picture of the challenges and problems that were overcome in order to create such great structures. It helps me understand the project more than just simply looking at pretty pictures. I was able to visit a few of these projects while on a trip to Lancaster to review progress on some timber frames that we used on a residential project. I really appreciated the quality of construction and the attention to detail that I saw on these projects. You can tell that the engineers, designers, and craftspeople, they really take pride in their work, and it definitely shows. It's quite apparent that although each project was designed by an architect, they were designed in close collaboration with Lancaster County timber frames. The projects demonstrate the type of thoroughness and approach to problem solving and attention to detail that make looking at these projects so interesting, which is another aspect of the book that I really appreciate so much. With hundreds of photos and diagrams and drawings, this book is primarily a picture book. However, a great deal of effort went into the project summaries and the working drawings. That's what makes this book so effective in showcasing the timber frame construction methodology. I recommend this book for anyone interested in learning more about heavy timber framing, specifically the various ways that these framing members can be joined together and the different ways of designing with them. It's a great book for newcomers who are just starting to explore timber framing and for seasoned design professionals who are looking to gain a little bit of inspiration for their own design projects. If these projects and these details and drawings interest you, I recommend you checking out this book. I'm sure you'll like it.